Don't worry about it. Hmm. Eh, don't worry about it. Okay. Before we begin, let's give huge shoutouts to patrons who make all of this possible. Ned, Mugo, Jack, No, Adam Ferguson, Jan Van S, David S. Edwards IV, C.C. Anthony, Darius Tan, Sebastian, Jeremy Shaw, Victor H., Dominic Ruiz, Philippe, John Villain, Callo, Sean Thomas, Stephen, David Virtue, Ryder Evans, Yo-Yo Dre, Jerry52, Russell, Ella Zane, and everyone at Seconds, Please, and the Sweet Sampler tier. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I have never been so involved in web dev my entire life until now, and it is pain in the ass. But I'm looking forward to our improvements over the site, because YT is proving such a challenge to keep on. So you know what? We're gonna deal with that. Anyways, let's continue on with the smut. Yeah, good. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> I think this is a good chance to agree. Remember, 18 plus. Hell yeah. Dead animation. Oh, let's enjoy this. Anybody excited? Me too. I'm really excited. Yeah! Camp Buddies, Scout Masters Season! Starring your favorite cast and more! Directed by Nico Kim, produced by Jay and Zale. Story by Nico Kim, Zale, Jay, and then. That's what went too fast. You were always by my side over the years I've gone. Even after I dream in past, my story's only just begun. There will be a time or two that you'll be feeling blue and deep inside. You've been lonely too, but I'll be there. I promise you. Alright, there we go. Hey guys, California Mackie here. Well then, I need to be bigger. No? Bigger! Hi guys, California Mackie here. Welcome to the Camp Buddy Scoutmaster season. I'm really excited about this one, aren't you? So, hold well on. I wanna make sure that someone decides to uh, join me somewhere because this is something that's very, very uh, important. So I'm just I'm just gonna join a voice chat of someone's Discord as an open invite. So I'll be over at I'm just gonna share my Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna make sure I get to share. So, we're gonna start a new journey, new episode, and new... Smut. <laughs> new game. Here we go. Yeah. I don't want to cover too much of the game. I mean, I don't want to... It's that time rock. of the year again, huh? Yes, it is, Yoshinari. Camp Buddy's off-season. Off-season, indeed. It's not really my favorite part of the year, but it has to happen nope. eventually. Too big. It's always too big. so lonely to see the camp so quiet and empty. Yeah, it's really, really lonely. There's no campers around like there used to be, and that means so no shit. activities, either. I know, it's so shit. It's so, so shit. 
You know what would make it better? Some entertainment. Haha. But this time, this time is different than the previous years. Yeah. Now that the because camp has become successful and popular, yeah. the next term will be busier than ever. Yeah, it's gonna be a massive improvement here, Shinori. Don't you worry about it. You know why? Because you've got the whole gang with you. And is there a way to... Um, hold up, volume. BGM. Oh, it saved my settings. Okay, this is definitely new save slots. This is very interesting. All right. You know what? I guess go. that's something I can look forward to. I'm happy that Camp Buddy is back at its peak. Yeah, back at its peak. Hey! Yuri. What? I can't believe you were ignoring everything I was saying, Yoshi. S sorry, I just had something on my mind. Jeez, you still talk to yourself this much? I thought you were over that habit. Some things never really change, huh? You're always so sentimental. <laughs> Just like a retired person. Hey, I'm not that old. And we're only a year apart. <laughs> Hearing you say that makes you sound like my dad. <sighs> Sir Boro's not that old either. Yeah, he, he's, he's not old, he's daddy. <laughs> anyway, since you weren't listening to me, I was asking when you'll be done cleaning up here. Yeah, but... Oh, sorry, I was... Hold on. Let me, uh, tweak a little bit of something. I feel like it's a little bit loud. I wasn't anticipating that. <laughs> Hold on. Scoutmaster season. Yeah, 50. Hold on, why does it keep switching? What? It keeps switching on and off between... my audio outputs. That's... that's... that's bizarre. You know what? I'm gonna... keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing this. Hold up. <sighs> Ready. Hmm. Uh... Oh, it's whenever I talk! Shit. I need some firewood for the office since the air is getting a little chilly now. Chilly, you say? Oh, I just finished mm -hmm. here, so I can chop some right away. Okay. Let me go find Aiden and we'll get it done for you faster. Alright, if you insist, but... Oh wait, you know what? Let me exit the Discord call. I feel like that's what's causing it. Hold on, uh, I'm gonna want it. Or yeah, it really was the Discord call. I doubt he'll be able to help anytime soon. I just saw Aiden busy with some other chores, so I didn't bother asking him. Oh yeah, remember this, guys? Remember? If you want, I can help you instead. I know how to swing an axe around too, after all. <laughs> it's alright, Yuri, right, Yuri, I can manage. Besides, don't you have work to do with Sir Goro as well? Ugh, don't remind me. I don't know how Dad can stand to keep working in his office like that all day long. Me neither. It drives me crazy. Honestly, office work is driving me up the ass, too. It's Honestly, like... coming out here to check Someone's on you was just though. an excuse to stretch my legs and get some fresh air. I guess it can't be helped, Yuri. There's been a ton of legal paperwork for Sir Goro to work on ever since the last term ended. There's so much stuff to do just to keep the place running with only the few of us and almost all the scouts gone. Is that what you were daydreaming about before? I was just thinking about how much Camp Buddy has changed over the years. It's been a roller coaster ride, huh? A big one, and it's all thanks to Katero. Yeah. I really got the chance to connect with the campers as well. It's probably the greatest term I've ever had. You betcha. Mm -hmm. It does make me wonder how many of them will come back next year. It's gonna be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Aww, you really do miss them a lot, don't you? Yeah, I miss the gang. I miss everybody. I'm sure a lot of them will come back. And if not, that's okay too. Yeah, yeah, but I have to be honest. It'll be really sad if I never see some of those campers again. I know they grew on you. Like mushrooms. Mushroom head. Oysters. 
I'm not thinking of anything at all. What are you talking about? I'm not thinking of anything nasty at all. What do you what do you, what do you mean? I'm not doing I'm not thinking dirty thoughts. No. Nar. Hey, lighten up a bit, will you? I expected you to be less of a worrywart now that everything is going well. The next term is still months away, and a lot can happen in their personal lives. You did your job last summer. Yeah. And whether they come back or not is up to them. Yeah. Some things we can't control. But you know what? It's the memories we make, right? But one thing is certain. We all had some of our greatest memories here at Camp Buddy last term. Definitely. All thanks to meddling Katoro. And that's something that will forever stay in our hearts. Definitely. <laughs> now who's the sentimental one? <clears throat> Ow! <clears throat> Pulls his ear. All I'm saying is you can cherish the past, but it's best to focus on what's ahead. You're exactly. right, Yuri. Anyways, those logs aren't gonna split themselves, Yoshi. You know I better what, see a fresh split? pile of wood chopped by sundown. I'll be around the shed if you need me. Okay. Hey, I thought you were helping your dad. Don't worry. Safe. Yeah. What's this? Oh. Oh, fuck. I can rename shit. Oh, he'll be fine without me for a while. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. We're in the woods. We're in the woods. It's really cold out here. I better get huh? moving. Is someone already here? <laughs> Poppy smack my bed like a drum slurp that day until it gone. Hey there, Yoshi. I was just chopping some wood over here. You need anything? I need... I need you. All of you. All of you. All of you. Hey, hey, hey. Here. Ah, I was about to gather some myself to bring to the office. Here, come and get some. I made plenty. I figured I, we would be using did. a lot more now that the weather's getting colder. Hell yeah. And I knew Yuri was going to ask you to do it, so I thought I'd take it off your list. Aiden, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, you didn't have to, but... Oh, it, come on, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I always like to smack some wood and work my muscles up. Oh, fucking hard. Well, I was going to ask for your help anyway, but Yuri told me you were busy with other chores. I was, but I already prepped everything and left our dinner cooking in the oven. You better come back with before it burns. And I used up all the firewood in the kitchen, so I needed to make some more anyways. <laughs> Looks like you've got everything covered, huh? Yep, you know you can always count on me. Oh. <laughs> you should give yourself a break sometimes though, Aiden. I mean, you really haven't stopped doing chores even after the summer term ended. Yeah, that's an issue. Ah, don't worry. There's not that much stuff to do now that it's off season. I only have to feed, what, like six people? Other than that, it's just the usual stuff around the camp too. Nothing I can't handle. Still, <laughs> a I guess nice. I shouldn't have expected any different. You've been taking care of everyone here for as long as I can remember after all. It's my pleasure, Yoshi. Always at your service. Full service. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun. Hmm. As great close I am, you're willing, always willing to help you. We should really get more staff around here for next year's term. Yeah, definitely. You know, some people who could pack some meat. I'm sorry, I'm gonna walk out now. Bye! Yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah. We're gonna get more meat. <laughs> Especially since we're expecting so many recruits, we don't want you getting swapped over with work like the past no few problem. terms. It's really not that big of a deal. They're just chores no. after all. Now that you're a scoutmaster just like me, I could I'm sure you could use a helping hand. Well if you put it that way, I guess so. In that case. Why don't you let me help you finish up here? I brought an axe with me anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to some company. You'll probably enjoy working up a sweat after all those boring tasks you've been doing. Right. Right, is, th is that why you don't have a shirt on? Aren't you oh. cold? Oh. oh, distracted by my butt, are you? Oh no. Should I hide? 
I think I should hide. No. No, I shall stay. I shall stay. Oh! <laughs> You're red as a tomato. Come on, you should be used to being, me being half naked most of the time by I now. Yes. Let's go. Right. Come on, let's get to work. Huh? Excuse me. Sorry for coming in without knocking. I have the firewood right here. Ah! I hope I'm not disturbing you, Sir Goro. I know we covered this, but... <laughs> no, not at all, Yoshinori. Let me put these by the fireplace and I'll head out. Hold on, let me enjoy this. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yoshinori. Take your time, though. It's really alright. Sir Goro looks busy as always. I can't imagine how stressful it must be to have so many responsibilities as to camp president. I assume Yuri fetched you? Yes, sir. She also mentioned having work to do in the shed. <sighs> She's trying to avoid all the Advent tests again, I see. Is yep. there anything I can help with, sir? Probably. I mean, sometimes you need to de-stress. You know? Sometimes you need to de-stress. Sometimes you need to enjoy yourself. Why not let me- Nope, I'm gonna- I'm not- No, no, no. It's fine, Yoshinori. I can handle it. Actually, I was hoping to help you three with chores around the camp, instead of all this legal work. Oh, you could always work up a sweat at us, sir. You have been working non-stop on paperwork since the last term ended. I was hoping to be able to assist you with it some. Well, I'm trying to make sure we have everything arranged properly with Mr. Claremont. It's the least I could do, considering his company is sponsoring our camp. You're already doing a great deal just by managing the camp anyway. It makes me relieved to know that you'll be the one to take my place here when the time comes. Yeah, that's an honor to hear from you, sir. But I also want to make up for all the previous years when I didn't manage Camp Buddy properly as its president. I'm trying my best to show you all that I can work just as hard and that this is much more than a job to me. Yeah, I love the character development, Goro. Wonder. I understand, sir. Come on, Yoshinori. You don't have to be so stiff and formal around me. Uh, mm -hmm. Although, I can't understand why you and everyone else were intimidated by me, given how strict and uptight I've been over the last couple of years. Don't worry, I'm a big fan of discipline. Okay, maybe I should walk out now. Bye. <laughs> okay, no. I truly regret that my actions led you all to feel that That's way. That's why I'm so grateful that we got to spend so much time together and catch up with one another last summer. Yeah, last summer was the fucking coup de gras. You and the scouts from the previous term were the reason I got my passion back and remembered what we all dreamed for this place to be. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I should take a break before I start turning to dust here in the office. Well, uh... <laughs> I figured you were united and were right that I'm not getting any younger. Might as well laugh about it, don't you think? You're not that old. You're very... <laughs> I disagree. You don't look old at all, especially really? not to me. If you're trying to piss up to me so that you'll be promoted, you'll have to try harder than that. Sir. I'm not. I really mean it. Look. Look. Don't worry. Just kidding. Take it easy. Oh. Oh. Everybody's... Everybody's needy. I guess. It's just unusual for me to me see you making jokes again. It's been so long since I've seen you this cheerful. <laughs> just like back in the old days, you mean. <laughs> exactly. It's a good thing. Well. I'm trying my best not to be such a grump. I want to show how much I enjoy being here. Can't with you all. spirit. We're glad not the old you back okay. as well, sir. Okay. Okay, take it back. It does sound weird if you're the one calling me old. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Why don't you go over to the shed and help you or whatever she's Are doing? Are you sure? You already have plenty of pants on it's your hands all right. right now. I want us to get rid of a lot of the clutter before Claremont's ocular visit. All right. The shed has been overflowing for a while, so it's probably best we go through it and see what's exactly. worth keeping. General cleanup, long overdue. There's a lot of sc stuff scattered. And with plenty of new campers, next year it'll be hard for uh, to monitor them all. Ex excess junk could be a hazard. I understand. Um, guys, do you remember what happened last time at the shed? Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Why don't we go and join you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Girl. Girl, you need some help there. <sighs> That's one crate out of 30. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, Aiden's looking extra packed today. Oh, 
You see, I figured I'd work on clearing out the shed since I overheard Dad on the phone talking about needing storage huh? space. When did you ask any of us for help? Oh, um, Aiden, sweetie, sugar, darling, meet magpie. You don't want to know what's in this stuff. No, you don't want to know what's in this stuff. A lot. I'm a lot stronger than I look. Besides, you guys are also busy already. Well, there's no way I'll let you lift all these crates by yourself. You could get hurt. <sighs> Fine, I was trying to cut you some slack, you know. <laughs> don't worry about me. This is really the least I can do, after all. Yoshi and Grams are doing big, important work to actually help the camp. Oh my god. Aiden, then. You do plenty to help the Besides. camp. Besides, you do most work out of all of us. And whether they're simple or not doesn't matter. They're just important. Give yourself a little more credit, Aiden. You're a scoutmaster too, just like us. It's just. I can't help but think everyone else has changed for the better except me, you know. Well, today's your time to shine. This season. Gramps has loosened up a lot over ever since the last term, and Yoshi isn't such a worry ward anymore. I don't think so. That's not true. You've seen my dad lately. He's been in his office chair so much, I wouldn't be surprised if his butt was glued to it. And Yoshi? I walked up to him staring at the sky earlier, lost in his thoughts I again. I believe in you. I don't don't be so hard on yourself. It's not you to be think not you to be thinking like this. <laughs> I guess I do sound a bit sulky saying all that, eh? Yuri! Oh! Hey, Yuri. You're here too, eh? Hey there! No, Aiden, you're here too. I just happened to walk by and saw Yuri trying to empty the shed all by yourself. Uh... Great, now everyone's here. Yuri, dear. You should have waited for us to be good. So we could help. Ramps. I'm pretty surprised to see you out of the office to begin with. Thought you were swamped with Claremont Mumbo Jumbo. Well. Aren't you overworked yourself, Aiden? <laughs> Fine. Anyway. Why don't you all leave this to me? I could use a workout after sitting How all day. about... Since we're all here, why don't we work on it together? Aww. Everyone's looking out for each other. Just like the good old days. <clears throat> we should get started while there's still a little bit of sun. It looks bright. It looks hella bright. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh god, the animation's improved. It's smooth. That or it's my computer. Oh, wow. Gee, Yuri, what's in all these boxes? They weigh a ton. Uh... Honey. The less you know, the better. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some stuff I like to keep around. Hmm. I didn't realize the most of the stuff in the shed belonged to you. I thought it was full of tools well, or something. Well... They are tools, in a way. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. Yuri, hold up. Yuri. Yuri, we need to share tips. Got it, girl. You're my gal, pal. Yoshi, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, all right. I shouldn't waste too much time. Uh... I have a small box here that says don't touch. Oh, God, that's the one Kato touched. Thanks. Uh... What's in there? Are you keeping dangerous items at camp? <laughs> it depends on how you use them. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I'm not going to pry for it. I feel like I'll regret huh. asking. It seems like most of the boxes were opened out here so far just to have random items. Hmm. Growing up, Yuri did have a hard time letting go of stuff she found interesting. Whenever she started a hard leave, she would obsess Excuse over it. Excuse me? You're the last person I want to hear that from. <laughs> You're the one who never lets go of stuff. <laughs> I guess that's true. I do have quite a lot of art and literature in my collection. Why? Why are you keeping all of this in the shed anyway? Why not your room? Hmm. My room is kinda... full. She's turned into a hoarder. Oh. What? Now why are you two giving me that luck? This is why I was trying to do this on my own. Okay! This is the last box with your name on it. I swept the shed spotless, never realized there was so much space in there without all this Thanks. stuff. I really appreciate it. I can take it from here and sort out the things I want to keep. Right. There's a few old tools that sorely need replacing, and we have some rusted and broken stuff we need to dispose sure. of, too. Sure. Hmm. Okay, let's see. <gasps> OMG! I found something! What happened? Oh, that's a new sprite. Isn't this exciting? You guys wouldn't believe what I just found. Yuri. You're going to give me a heart attack. I thought you hurt yourself Come or something. On. I've been looking for this old thing for ages. I can't believe it was in the shed all these huh? years. It kind of looks like an ancient book, which is uh, used to cast but spells. Aiden. I can't believe you don't know what this is. We used to write down this book when we were younger, remember? Oh, I recognize Yuri? that book. Your journal, Yuri? Yes! I'm so glad you remembered, Yoshi. Sheesh. 
I almost forgot that thing existed. I think the last time I saw it was when we were still scouts. It looks a little rough, too. Are those water stains all over it? Yeah, the box in it was must have gotten wet somehow, but it's still readable for the mm. most part. I don't think I've seen this journal for, of yours before. Dad. That's because you were a busy scoutmaster back then. This is where I used to put all my favorite memories with you guys. It was so much fun to write about what we were up to. Oh. I really, really wanted to show this to last year's scouts and give them a little history or the camp. But I couldn't, because I thought this thing was lost forever. Hmm. Is that why you give a journal just like this to some of the scouts when they first arrived at yeah. camp? It was so wonderful it, to be able to write down memories, and I wanted them to be able to express that as well. That explains your choice with Keitaro. You guys know I've always wanted to had a passion for writing even when I was younger. I thought it would be great to sh <laughs> share that with the scouts so they'd be able to look fondly back on their experiences here one day. <laughs> I made it my personal tradition to offer a journal when I see scouts full of inspiration, such as Akatora and Nagame. Oh, come on! Just look at their application forms and see who wrote writing as their hobbies. <laughs> Not at all, Aiden. Actually, I'm actually quite curious what the camp was like back then from eyes of a scout. All right. Let's take a peek then, shall we? Yeah! <gasps> Look, it's you guys! Oh, they're so cute! This is our first picture together. Seeing it makes me remember what happened on that day so clearly. So Let's adorable. Let's go already! Hurry up, we have to take a picture on a special day like this. Y Yuri! Yuri, can you move a little? You're stepping on my foot! Mr. Andre! Mr. I think it would be better if you were in the shot, too. After all, this is Aiden's first official day as a helper here. It's fine. I'll take the picture. This is your moment, after all. Congratulations! That's... That is... Oh, no. I've seen some of the things on Twitter, but... Oh, no, I don't know. You know what? We'll breeze through this. We can manage this. I wish you were a scout too, but this works just as well, as long as we get to hang out and have fun together. <laughs> it's all thanks to you, Yoshi. You've been vouching for me since no. day one. You're the one who proved yourself here. You've been super helpful around well... the camp. I wouldn't... would have happened if you guys sh haven't been showing Sir Goro every little thing I was working on. <laughs> I guess it's a team Dad! effort then. M mom what's taking you so long? Huh? Where's the mom? Coming, dear. There we go. Farah doesn't look happy about nature. She looks very uptight. In fact, she doesn't... She looks like she married for money. She really looks like she married for money. I will not be quick to judge. Remember what happened with... Uh, Taiga. Let's not be quick to judge here. Come on! Join us in the pit. Oh, she left. Come on! Let her be, Dad. Just come here already. I'm sorry. Sir Goro? Is everything alright, Sir oh. Goro? It's nothing. My wife's just a little tired all as right. well. Alright. Mr. Andre, we're ready. Three, two, one. Jeez! Jeez. Wow! It's already printing. That's really cool. Please! Can I see? Can yeah. I see? I'm surprised the Polaroid managed to survive waterlogged. Yuri. Book. If you want, I can frame it for you to hang inside the office, no Yuri. No way! It's gonna be in my album. <laughs> of course. Anyway. A special day like this is worth a treat. I brought you guys your favorite Neapolitan oh, ice cream. Wow. Oh my god, hold on. Strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. That's the vibe I'm getting. Is the, are these the vibes? Are these the vibes? I don't know. Huh? What's that? Aiden. It's three ice cream flavors in one. Dad always gets this one since we can't agree on just one. <laughs> Besides, the colors match us too. Strawberry, vanilla for Dad, and chocolate for Yoshi. Oh. I'm gonna walk away now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, since I didn't an official part of our squad, now we should add one more flavor oh. next time. That'd be nice. <laughs> it should definitely be something green. That's totally your color. Yuri! Did you really have to narrow it down like that? We should let Aiden pick whatever it's he likes. Right. I rarely have the chance to eat ice cream, so I don't know what my favorite flavor uh, is yet. You might want to eat up before it melts. your service. I'll serve up some at the mess hall. Follow me. Come on. They'll have to try all the flavors hey! first. Yuri? Sir Goro? Aren't you coming, Sir Goro? I'll catch up after a phone call. Please go ahead, Yoshi. Sir! 
It's an unhappy marriage, isn't it? <laughs> See ya. It was an unhappy marriage. Wow. I think he won custom. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me go on a theory here. Sir Goro had to divorce Yuri's mom after disagreements like that escalated. And uh, Sir Goro had to win custody over her. So yeah. At the end, Yuri decided to cho chose to stay with Goro. And that's how everything happened, because we barely hear any mention of mom at all. Hmm. Back then. <laughs> When was this thing again? It's around the time you got my first camera, Dad. Almost a decade ago, during Camp Buddy's first ever turn. Sheesh. I barely recognize myself here. Was it? Has it really been that long? <sighs> Seeing us like this feels nostalgic. It really takes me back. <laughs> How'd all your hair turn gray in less than a decade, Grams? <clears throat> Speak for yourself, Aiden. It's hard to believe that a twig like you could bulk up in a couple of years. Oh. Talk about my glow up, eh? I'll take that as a compliment. Aww. But you and Yoshi look so youthful in your skinny, twinky bodies. Yuri. <laughs> Not that I have complaints about your mouth now, oh, you fight. <laughs> <sighs> this time sure has flown, hasn't it? <laughs> I miss being a scout. It was the happiest time of my <clears> life. <throat> anyway, why don't we finish up here before you get too carried away, Yuri, Actually, dear? I got all the things I need from the shed. I'll leave the clean up to you guys. Where are you going? Hmm. I haven't seen my journal in years. Let me have my moment. Though it'll probably take me a while to read through all the entries. I'll let you guys know if there's some cool stuff Bye. in here. <sighs> You really can't stop her when she starts obsessing over something. <laughs> what else is new? Anyways. Anyways, I think we all need to do is take it crash out. Then we're done here. Why don't you guys give me a hand and I'll treat you both to a beer. I agree. Sounds good. Uh, uh, I'd be happy sweet. to try. Sweet. Let's go then. I'm going to have to wrap this up in a fairly short moment because I don't have much time to record. Ah, thanks again thanks for to... helping me with the chores, guys. It's yeah. no problem, Aiden. I rarely get the chance to help. You've pretty much kept our camp running over the years. Oh, Gramps. It's always so nice to hear a compliment from you. Yeah. Hold on. I want to enjoy something. Hold on. Uh, H. Here we go. Leak, 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 leak. Leak, 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 leak. Leak, 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 leak. Leak, 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 leak. Hey, I always give them out when they're due. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but it's hard to please you, Gramps. You only praise us once in a blue moon. Well, I was telling Yoshinori earlier today how I've been trying to be more easygoing around you guys, especially after how I was the past few years. Ah, don't sweat it, Gramps. We know you just had plenty of management matters to deal with. Yeah. While I'm at it. Thanks again for treating us to these nice cold drinks. It's been a while since I had a beer like this. Shh, Gramps! Don't be, Don't be so, so obvious, obvious about it! We're not supposed to have them in public! What? I used to drink these outside all the time. When did that change? Hold on, hold on. Look at the poster at the back. I just realized something. Wanted. Reward. 69. And then... Oh, no. Is that... A harness? Oh, no. Actually, has that been out there even before this game? Oh, sheesh, seriously? I thought you of all people would know the local <laughs> rules. You knew about that too, right, Yoshi? You've been out drinking with me before. Yoshinori? He's sleepy. Uh, sorry, what were you guys talking about? Are you alright, Yoshinori? You seem to be spacing out again. Can I just appreciate the leather outfit? <laughs> you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, oh no, sir! I'm fine. Come on, something's definitely up. You've barely said anything ever since Yuri showed us that picture. That's true. Did it bring up a bad memory or something? No, the opposite, actually. Seeing us all together back then made me think about all the things that happened in the past. Yeah, I can imagine for you that. Yeah, definitely. Huh? What do you mean exactly? Well, back then, Sir Goro was our scoutmaster, and we thinking about how fun it was. It really made me want to relive those moments again. I look back Aww. on those days fondly as well. Having scouts like you in the very first term really helped solidify my passion for Camp Buddy. 
<laughs> Those were some of our best memories together, after all. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I feel like I've forgotten what it's like to enjoy myself without worrying about everything else. That's what happens when you grow up. It made me realize that ever since I became a scout master, I've been so single-mindedly focused on the present and future of Camp Buddy. Yeah, but what about your present, right? Is this where we're going? I think I'm partly to blame for that. The time I left you in charge on your own without proper guidance caused a far greater burden on you. Uh, that's not what I meant, sir. No, but it's still a part of it. Becoming a scoutmaster there has always been my dream. And now that I've achieved that goal, it makes me look back at why I wanted it in the first place. <laughs> no, Yoshinori. You were such a passionate and caring scout that you constantly inspired me to keep fighting for Camp Buddy. I hope Isn't I can return the favor sentiment. and help you enjoy your time at camp again. Sir Goro. Yeah, I miss the old Yoshi too. You were so cheerful and carefree back then, and now you spend so much of your time worrying. We just gotta get you to stop overthinking things. <laughs> what, you got a few distractions for me? You got a few distractions in mind? <laughs> well, I guess it's mostly because I've been far less busy now that we're in the off-season. Normally, I'd use my time to think about what activities we'd be doing next, or how to improve everyone's experiences at camp. With the scouts gone, I don't have as many responsibilities. And I guess that's given me a lot of time to think about myself for once. Uh, I'm sorry, you two have to hear me ramble about all this. No, no, it's fine, Yoshi. You know, we're always here to listen and help you with whatever's going through your head. Exactly. We all have your back here, Yoshinori. Thank you both, really. No problem, Yoshi. I think that's enough of that cheesy talk. We're having a drink to relax and have fun. To be honest, I'm a little concerned about the authorities seeing us with these beers now. Yeah. Oh, come on, Gramps. Live a little. What's life if you don't break the rules every once in a while? Yeah. Down with condoms. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> now this does feel like old times. You used to be such a troublemaker, Aiden. Hey, I don't think we ever got ourselves into anything serious. Right, Gramps? <laughs> like... <sighs> I'm suddenly starting to worry about you as a Scoutmaster, Aiden. Oh no, I'm happy about it, and I wouldn't mind experiencing and experimenting with Aiden as a guide. Hey! Don't start acting like you two are so innocent! The three of us drank plenty during last summer term! With all the new Scouts coming in next year, we'll probably have to stop that. We don't want a camper catching us after all. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yuri would be glad if we stopped. She's always scolding us for drinking anyway. Yeah, she and the scouts caught us a few times. <laughs> <sighs> it is difficult to relax for a drink when she's upset with us. <laughs> Have a couple more of those, and you'll be too relaxed to let her bug you. <laughs> you think That's something like this is enough to affect me? I drink much stronger alcohol, you know. That's true. I've seen how much you were able to put down before. I think those muscles play a big role in it also. Your jacked bod is way tougher than a few beers. You and Yoshinori as well. I mentioned it earlier, but it's amazing oh, no. to see how We're much the two of you have bulked <laughs> up over the recent years. I understand how Aiden did it, since I see him working out pretty regularly. But I wasn't aware that you trained as well, Yoshinori. <laughs> I have joined Aiden for a few of his workout sessions. But, I do try and keep myself in the best shape possible, so that I have no issues with our activities. We are an outdoor-themed camp, after all. There you go! Bringing it back to Yoshi. work, Yoshi! Come on! Let the beers loosen you up, too! <laughs> Aiden's right. Besides, it's not often we get to hang out together like this. Yeah, you guys are right. We should do this more often while it's still off-season. Who knows? Maybe one of these days I'll get to see what kind of drunk Gramps is. One of you. Now that you mention it, I've only ever seen Sir Goro drunk once. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's classified information, Yoshinori. I know Yoshi gets really crazy when he's had too much to drink. Aiden! <laughs> I'm just kidding, Yoshi. <laughs> but really, thank you both for giving me a different perspective about this offseason. Now I have something to look forward to while the scouts aren't here. Discovering what this place means to me sounds apt. I want to rediscover what Camp Buddy really means to me. 
That's an admirable goal, Yoshinori. Looking back where we came from is a reminder of why we pursued this path. You can count on me to do my best and be there every step of the way. Hell yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. I know the past will help guide us to a better version of ourselves for the future. And with you guys by my side, I'm sure I can take on the challenge no matter what. <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced the drinks really are going to your head. You always were a sappy drunk, Yoshi. Uh, they are not, and I am not. <laughs> <laughs> you do look a tad red, Yoshinori. What? You think so too, Sir Goro? Walking back to Camp Buddy with Aiden and Sir Goro under the starry night sky made me remember some of the fond memories I had with them from back when I was a scout. We've all stayed here and done the best we could for the same reason, but the time has come to continue where our own stories left off. This season marks another chance for us to make just as many amazing memories as we had before. I'm excited. I'm really excited. But I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode here because much to do, much to do, much to do. All right. So, I'm just gonna save here. Alright. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I'm really excited to cover this game. And it's such an interesting scene. I got, I'm excited to explore everybody's characters, everybody's motives, everybody's bodies. As an innocent VTuber person thing, thank you. Now excuse me while I'm gonna go suck some sausages. Yeah! <laughs> now excuse me while I go suck some sausages. Yay! Alright, bye. Bye!